everyone welcome back to my channel for today I have a first impression review I got this gift for Christmas from my godmother she lives in Canada and she got me this huge eyeshadow palette blush palette and contour palette it is humongous and this is from Saks New York and because I'm curious I looked online and I couldn't find anything I haven't seen any reviews or anyone that has used these products so if you're from Canada or if you know something about them let me know because I couldn't find anything and that makes me even more intrigued because it came in a really nice box it was packaged very nicely and even the actual case is very nice it does open individually so this is for eyeshadows this is for blushes and this is for the bronzers and the contour powders and it looks very nice it seems pretty sturdy so I actually think this is a really nice quality looking at those they look very nice as I said I haven't touched it I got it a few weeks ago and I wanted to do a first impression because this looks absolutely stunning it does whoa <laughs> it does have a lot of shades and a lot of combinations and I think I can do a very nice look out of this I was looking through the eyeshadows and I realized that it starts from something very nude so everyday looks it goes down to some golds then some peaches pinks and some blues which I actually really appreciate and if you pay a closer look you can kind of see that each row it can create an eye look you have everything you need from a highlight shade to a crease shade to something to apply in the outer corner so I think I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna choose this row because today I'm wearing the most cozy and the most fluffy sweater ever I got this from Christmas also from my godmother and I freaking love it it is so soft it's a little bit more baggy because I like to cuddle up in this and I love it it's so soft and because I want to be matchy matchy I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna choose this row with the pinks and it also has a darker color to go in the outer corner and then I'm gonna choose a blush and also try this contour shade so without talking too much let's see this product in action I think I'm gonna start with the face and looking at this I don't know how you can tell on camera but this one looks a little bit more neutral to cool tone uh, this one is very orange this one is kind of orange I don't know how it's speaking on camera but I'm gonna use this one to contour a little bit and I'm gonna take the party queen large angle contour Ooh, a lot of product I was expecting this to be a little bit more dry and I did take quite a lot <laughs> Ooh, that's a very nice color it's not very cool tone it's more neutral and kind of like a bronzer but not really and after I place the product I'm gonna take a Stippling brush, this is Duo Fiber from Party Queen. And I'm gonna blend that away. Ooh, blends very nicely. On a smaller brush, this is Party Queen Tapered Blending. I'm gonna take that color and I'm gonna try to contour my nose and see how this is. Uh, contouring your nose is very difficult especially if you don't know the shade and how they apply but I'm gonna try and contour it so let's see wish me luck not hard it's actually very easy Ooh. to blend that away I'm gonna take the real techniques expert face brush and I'm gonna slightly blend it out so it's not so harsh I'm gonna go back to the party queen uh, brush and I'm gonna contour my forehead a little bit you know that I do have quite a big forehead and whoa I did put a little bit too much there see that Wow, on camera it looks so much darker what the heck it's not that dark in real life really looks nice and a bit on my jawline I'm still using the same shade 
Okay, now I'm gonna start with the eyes. So I'm going to take this color right here. Do you see it? I hope you do. Whoa! These are very pigmented. I barely touched it and I have a lot. And I'm gonna try to put this in the crease. It does have a little bit of uh, shimmer, but not too much, so I hope that won't show. Ooh, it looks very nice. It does show a little bit, but not something crazy. And I like the pigmentation. Do you see this? Wow! <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna take a bigger clean brush. This is just a blending. And I'm gonna blend the edges. Really like it. What the heck? Why I can't find anything online about this? Really nice. Then I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and this color right next to it and put it all over the lid. Wow, do you see that? What the heck? And as of right now, I don't have any fallout. Any fallout. Do you hear me? And this is, I don't have a primer on and I didn't wet the brush before and can you see how pigmented this pink is? It is a beautiful dusty pink. I love it. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna flip the brush and take the color next to it and apply that more on the inner part of the eye. Going back to the crease shade, I'm gonna apply a little bit more because I love it. Next, I'm picking the Just Up Small Taper Blending and I'm gonna take the last color right here to go on the outer corner to make it a little bit deeper. I need a closer look, so I'm gonna take my small mirror how to keep this. Wow! Now I'm taking the blending brush and no more product. And I'm gonna blend it. And I like how they all go together. Each row has a color family that goes very, very well together. They're already paired for you, which I really like. I really, really like. On a flat definer brush, I'm gonna take the crease shade and I'm gonna apply it more on the outer part and going towards the center. Wow, I love how this turned out. And I'm gonna take a mix between the crease shade and the outer corner shade. And I'm gonna put it right here. Great! Gonna blend them. On a Party Queen large shader, I'm gonna pick the first shade and put it underneath the brow bone. And it kinda looks like a duochrome. I don't know if you can tell on camera. See that? It looks a little bit duochrome. Wow, this is really nice. I'm glad it doesn't have glitter in it though, because we already have so much shimmer. On a Party Queen pencil brush, I'm gonna pick the same shade and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. I'm going to take a Party Queen large powder brush and I'm gonna pick uh, a mix between this and this. This one looks crazy pink on camera. It is the most pink one, but on camera it looks like fire. No, it's not like that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and a little bit of, wow. <laughs> I 
I like it. Woo! I believe this one is a highlighter. I'm gonna try it on Contour Brush by Real Techniques. Whoa. Oh yeah, looks nice. See that? I really like it. It is subtle but it's noticeable. Wow! I'm so impressed! <laughs> Seriously though! Okay, so I changed the setup a little bit because I finished my makeup and I'm about to film a what I got for Christmas in Romanian. I think that video is gonna be up before this one and if it is, I'm gonna leave a link somewhere around here if you wanna see what I got for Christmas. But back to the palette. I finished my makeup, I put some lashes, I put lips on and I can say I am obsessed with this. I love, love, love how my makeup turned out. I love how everything blended and how it looks and how it feels. It doesn't look patchy or powdery. Now I want to talk a little bit about each color and while I'm talking I'm gonna show you swatches so you can actually see how they swatch on my hand. So the first row right here I think it's perfect for every day. Actually the first two rows but the first one it's actually only browns and it is perfect for every day, perfect for school or for a day event that you don't wanna look too much but you still want to have something and I actually really like let's see wow I really like the last shade it looks very nice then the second one has a little bit more gold in it the first uh, three shades are very shimmering the third one it's actually a gold let's see whoa oh my god <laughs> The third row is a little bit more peachy, this one it's very peachy and this one as well. The second one it does have a little bit of pink in it, but not to the point where it's pink, it's peachy pink, you know? The fourth row is the one that I use today and I really really like, especially the fourth shade, it's perfect in the crease and even though it does have a little bit of shimmer, it's not something that it doesn't look good because you know my Ruby Rose eyeshadow palette, it's all shimmery and it's pretty difficult to apply that in the crease because it's very shimmering but this one looks absolutely incredible and then the last row it does have blues, I like the second shade wow it looks very nice and the third one looks really pretty and I guess the fourth one would be in the crease it looks very very nice and then the last one it is a matte black now moving on to the blushes I do see a variety something very very light right here going all the way to something extremely bright it does look 10 times more brighter on camera I don't know, it looks a lot more saturated as I'm looking in the viewfinder it's not like that but it is pretty intense and then I'm guessing all of these are highlighters and these could be blush toppers if you just want to wear bronzer and you want something on top of it you can wear this because they are some toppers they have a lot more shimmer in it than the other ones which are pretty matte this one is matte, this one is matte, this one seems matte this one has a little bit of shimmer and this one is extremely shimmer because they are highlighters and now moving on to the last part of the palette which is the contour bronzer part I haven't tried the first three ones, only the last one, which I really really liked, as you just saw, I was able to contour my nose and my cheeks very nicely with it, so that's a huge plus and I'm really really liking that. They're all matte as you can see, which is amazing because you already have a lot of shimmers into the blushes and onto the eyes, so it's really nice that these are matte, 
but you are able to make them shimmery if you apply any of this on top so overall I'm actually very very impressed by this palette and I will for sure continue to use it and you will for sure be seeing this in many of my videos because it is really good okay so that was it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this palette if you have any other questions or if you have this palette let me know in the comments below I hope you enjoyed the look that I came up with and until next time take care and I will see you soon bye